Now, the nerve fibers which carry impulses from the receptors to the central nervous system, what do you call them as? Very easy question about nomenclature. You basically call them as the afferents. So a little bit you need to know about the terminology. So this is the spinal cord. This is the spinal cord. And uh, in the skin, you have the sensory receptors. From here, the sensation. Suppose if I pinch you, if I happen to uh, pin, apply a pin and cause pain, pain is called nociception. What is the word used for pain? It's called nociception. Right? So, if there is any pain, if there is any touch, touch is called as, what is the word used for touch sensation? We call it as proprioception. Proprioception. So, proprioception, nociception, that is a pain. From the sensory receptors which are there in the skin, they get transmitted by the nerve which is called as the afferent nerve. Then uh, if something is biting you or if you are getting pain, what will you do? Immediately you will withdraw the hand. So how do you withdraw the hand? Once the pain sensation comes to the spinal cord, spinal cord sends a nerve which is called a motor nerve. Motor nerve. That immediately will cause the contraction of the muscle and withdraw the limb away from that nociceptive stimulus. And this is called as the efferent nerve is what you should basically remember. So whenever the, uh, you should know a bit about neuromuscular junction. We are going to talk about something called neuromuscular junction. So whenever the nerve comes, the nerve brings a electrical activity in it that is called action potential. When the action potential comes, there are certain neurotransmitters, especially acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter. Tell me what is this word? Acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter. It is staying inside these uh, small, small bags. They are called vesicles vesicles. So from this vesicles, this neurotransmitter get released, acetylcholine, it will go and stimulate the uh, movement of uh, the ions, the movement of ions across the membrane. So this is the nerve and this is the muscle. This is the muscle. Hence, what is this called as? This is called neuromuscular junction. This is called as neuromuscular junction. Because this is the nerve, this is the muscle. So, this depot, this, this, then immediately when this, this um, calcium ions are moving, it will change the electrical potential of that membrane. Always you should remember, any membrane, there are positive ions on one side, negative ions on one side. And typically across the membrane, there is something called membrane electrical potential. So this dipolar, that membrane electrical potential created by the movement of this calcium ions is basically called depolarization. And this depolarization will make the muscle to contract. That is how a narrow brings the electrical signal, causes the release of the neurotransmitter, which is acetylcholine. That lead to the movement of the calcium across the membrane and it will cause the depolarization of the membrane and that makes the muscle to contract. This is called as the neuromuscular junction, right? So this is another way for you to remember. <clears throat> Always you should have a three-dimensional structure of the anatomy, physiology, biochemistry. You should have a imagination, a psychological imagination. Then only you will be able to understand the concepts very well. And always carry a pen and paper. Explain your classmates. Always 
teaching others is the best way that you can learn the concepts. So you have uh, the axon that is the Naru terminal and the neurotransmitter is released. Here you have the synapse that is releasing the neurotransmitter and that in turn is making uh, the post this 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 is called as post synaptic membrane post synaptic membrane and what is this called this is called synapse and what is this called this area is called pre synaptic membrane very good and this is called as the nerve so that makes the postsynaptic membrane to undergo what depolarization depolarization and that makes the muscle to contract muscle to contract that is what you should understand so this is basically the cell body and uh, the how does the electrical signal pass through the efferent nerve it won't pass like our traffic it will keep jumping jump like spider-man jumps from one roof to another roof like that it will be jumping from one roof to another roof to another roof to another roof and uh, this is basically called myelin what is this called myelin so you have imagination of how the electrical wires there is a copper around that you are having that plastic no if you take an electrical wire inside there is a copper there is an outside plastic so there is similar thing called myelin which is surrounding this nerve fiber and this myelin will be like nodes like this and the purpose of the myelin is it will enable the electrical potential to jump from one node to the other node to the other node to the other node and that is how the electricity can run faster right so that is the reason myelinated nerves there are two types of nerves myelinated nerves which have this kind of a sheath called myelin sheath m y e l i n myelin myelin sheath is around the nerve so you have two types of fibers called myelinated fibers unmyelinated fibers two types of fibers that you need to know so these unmyelinated and myelinated fibers if you take the um, myelinated fibers they conduct very fast from one node of ranvier to another node of ranvier what is this called node of ranvier so this myelin will typically present around the nerve fiber and uh, it uh, create what are called as nodes what are those nodes called node of ranvier so from one node of ranvier to another node of ranvier it will jump and jumping is faster than crawling right so that is how the conduction of uh, the electricity happen along the nerve fiber is what you should remember so now you know let us have a quick summary of what all that we studied you know what is meant by afferent nerve efferent nerve what is neurosynaptic junction what are action potentials what how does depolarization happen how the muscle contraction happen what is meant by a myelinated nerve unmyelinated nerve the node of ranvier etc etc excellent